Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Michael McNamee. I graduated from Virginia Tech in 2016 with a degree in material science and engineering. I'm now in my first semester of a new Virginia Tech master's degree program in data analysis and applied statistics. It's my pleasure this afternoon to introduce Dr. Sally C. Morton. Dean Morton joined Virginia Tech to become Dean of the College of Science more than three years ago. Prior to coming to Virginia Tech, she was chair of the biostatistics department at the University of Pittsburgh. Previously, she was vice president for statistics and epidemiology at RTI International, as well as head of Rand Corporation Statistics Group. Early in her tenure at Virginia Tech, Dr. Morton identified diversity and inclusion as a core value of the College of Science and encouraged women in the sciences, nicknamed WITS, groups in various departments throughout the college. At Virginia Tech, Dean Morton has also championed the advancement of data science work that pulls from disciplines across multiple colleges, including engineering and business. She is also interim director of Virginia Tech's Fairland Life Sciences Institute. Please give a warm welcome to Sally C. Morton, Dean of College of Science. Thank you very much. Nearly everywhere we go today, we generate data, all of us. When we Google something, we buy something in the grocery store, we look at the weather app on our phone, or we track our steps when we take a walk. We have so much data, we've run out of ways to describe it. We say we're swimming in data, we're deluged by data, whatever the metaphor, we have a lot of data available. This incredible wealth of data can help us address immediate problems, problems like Alzheimer's, autism, nuclear threats, climate change, huge, seemingly intractable problems that challenge our society. Addressing these problems can seem ambitious, even impossible. However, data can mitigate problems that the world faces. If the data is leveraged via analysis and modeling and implemented in decisions and action, we are using data analytics and scientific modeling in the College of Science at Virginia Tech to fuel discoveries in real ways against real problems, and we're making real breakthroughs. Dr. Kate Langwig, an assistant professor in biological sciences and her team, are researching ways that the efficacy of vaccines can be improved. The United States and other countries thought that they had eliminated measles years ago but the disease has reemerged. To understand how, how a vaccine can be more effective, Kate and her team used data to build mathematical models of the susceptibility of communities to measles. They included variables such as age, vaccination levels, different pathogen doses, and nutrition. Kate's research uncovered the unexpected. Many scientists are vaguely aware that vaccines may not work at higher pathogen doses but few had ever researched it in detail. The real world models that Kate and her team produced can help determine how communities can be better protected against measles. The College of Science is breaking new ground. Dr. Lauren Childs, an assistant professor in mathematics, is working with colleagues from Harvard to help prevent a disease that has long proven to be one of the world's most deadly. In 2017, more than 435,000 people died of malaria, and many of them were children. Lauren and her team, which include experts in biology, epidemiology, and public health, incorporated data into computational models to lead to discovery. Coating the surface of mosquito bed nets with an anti-malaria drug can essentially cure the mosquitoes of malaria if the insects stay on the bed net for at least six minutes. If they're cured, they cannot spread malaria. Lauren's modeling explored how adding the drug to bed nets can affect malaria prevalence. The anti-malaria drug is already approved for humans, and people in Africa already use bed nets. There are a lot of reasons this could move quickly to action, Lauren said. The College of Science is improving lives. It's not just about data, it's about the understanding that data provides given analysis and modeling. This understanding results in scientific discovery. This understanding allows people to make well-informed decisions. Those decisions can prevent illness and they can save lives. Without a doubt, fundamental basic science remains essential to the College of Science. Examples such as experiments to find the fourth neutrino, 
or the development of a deeper understanding of cell division are vital components of our mission. Furthermore, the College of Science complements and extends the advancement of scientific discovery by infusing our traditional disciplines with data analytics and computational modeling. Welcome to the 2019 State of the College of Science. I'm delivering this address today from Virginia Tech's Arlington Research Center to demonstrate the importance of the greater Washington DC metro area to the future of Virginia Tech. Welcome to those here in person, to those viewing in Blacksburg or streaming this address, and welcome to the faculty, staff, students, alumni, and friends of the college. Let me pause so we can consider what President Sand says about the College of Science. As President Sand says, the College of Science is essential to the present and future of Virginia Tech. That's one reason that a key focus of our college's work this year is to align our strategic plan with the beyond boundaries vision of the university. Our college's work explores, advances, and applies science to promote healthy people, strong communities, and a sustainable planet. The College of Science is grounded in fundamental scientific disciplines, fueled by data, focused on discovery, and directed at decisions. The vast majority of our research is done not by individuals, but by transdisciplinary teams, chemists and physicists, physicists working with mathematical modelers, biologists working with statisticians, economists and psychologists working together. If team science is the way university researchers work and the way that government agencies and corporations tackle issues, our students need to learn how to collaborate as well, and they do so in many of our programs right now. Our computational modeling and data analytics program melds Virginia Tech's expertise in mathematics, statistics, and computer science. The first two reside in the College of Science, and the third, computer science, resides in the College of Engineering. The CMDA program is one of the fastest growing undergraduate majors at the university, and its students are highly sought by employers. If we were to observe a student CMDA capstone presentation, we would see Virginia Tech students giving talks that would be at home in any corporate boardroom. These students are asked to solve real-world problems that companies face. Our college's corporate partners attend in person. Among the issues brought to the teams last year, helping the American Red Cross get blood to combat zones, and improving supply chain logistics for GE Aviation. CMDA Director and Professor of Mathematics, Dr. Mark Embry, explained the motivation for this capstone approach. To quote Mark, we're trying to give students experiences here that model a real professional environment so they can make some mistakes in class and not make the same mistakes when they take their first job. This is what the College of Science is about, preparing students to hit the ground running on the first day of their first job, ready for action. And our students know this. CMDA alumna Dasha Savina said, it's really interesting to get a chance to talk to people that are actually in industry and be able to apply what we've learned to prepare for meetings and communicate with a client. Dasha is now a cognitive and analytics consultant at IBM. Students clamor for this type of relevant education. Similar educational programs exist across our eight departments, the School of Neuroscience and the Academy of Integrated Science. We are always thinking of innovative programs to add to our portfolio. We are finalizing a bachelor's degree in behavioral decision science which is a collaboration of economics, neuroscience, and psychology. We will train students to understand how individuals, groups, communities, and machines make decisions and prepare our students to act on that understanding. The Academy's integrated science curriculum is another example of academic innovation. The curriculum addresses subjects tackled by scientific thinkers all the way from Galileo to modern day recipients of the Nobel Prize. Students are taught via a transdisciplinary approach, combining biology, chemistry, physics, and statistics to address problems. Classes occur 
in an active learning environment that emphasizes collaboration and creativity. In the College of Science, we study science and we do science. At Virginia Tech, we have a mission of outreach to the Commonwealth, the nation, and the world. In the College of Science, we do that in many ways. I will start with an obvious extension by Virginia Tech. About a year ago, Virginia Tech announced its intent to create a one million square foot graduate campus of academic classrooms, incubator space for startups and research and development, and offices for collaboration with industry. This will be called Innovation Campus. Even before this announcement, the college was already increasing our presence here in the Washington DC metro area. I'm very proud to let you know that the first student cohort has joined our data analytics and applied statistics master's program. And several of these students are here with us tonight. And one of them, Michael, introduced me. Thank you. <coughs> Welcome. We're very glad you, you came back to Virginia Tech. I heard you were a graduate previously. Welcome back. This master's degree provides data analysis skills to early and mid-career professionals to enhance their careers and address the shortage of data scientists in the DC area. And Dr. Tom Otecki, a three-time Virginia Tech alumnus, directs this new program. Thank you, Tom. Our college is also involved with the Commonwealth Cyber Initiative, which recently held a retreat with President Sands in this very room. You can see it in the picture. This initiative is a network of cyber research, innovation, and learning created by connecting Virginia Tech's public universities, community colleges, and businesses. The College of Science is committing its strengths in artificial intelligence, cryptography, machine learning, and quantum information science to this initiative. With respect to Roanoke, this year we established a Center for Biostatistics and Health Data Science. In collaboration with clinicians and researchers, biostatisticians design experiments, collect and analyze data, interpret and disseminate results. Dr. Alexandra Hamlin, director of the center and a member of our statistics department, has more than three decades experience working on a variety of different clinical topics. Dr. Mike Friedlander, executive director of the Fralin Biomedical Research Institute, said a key to the institute's success is transdisciplinary collaboration coupled with inter-university partnerships exemplified by those with the College of Science. As Mike said, I'm delighted that our researchers can tap into the deep expertise and open collegial culture with the College of Science. Outreach and collaboration happen daily in Blacksburg as well. One example was the August Advancing Neuroscience Research at Virginia Tech Summer Symposium, a show of scientific strength that would be the envy of many universities. The symposium was jointly sponsored by the college's School of Neuroscience and the Fralin Biomedical Research Institute. Members participated from both those entities, as well as from biological sciences, biomedical engineering and mechanics, the Virginia Maryland College of Veterinary Medicine, and many others. If you looked at the research posters, you would see that these groups were not working alone, but with each other and other universities. That is how we do science at Virginia Tech, collaborating together to combine crucial skill sets. In further School of Neuroscience news, the school officially moved into Sandy Hall on the drill field this fall, giving the school a new prominence in Blacksburg. Science and leadership from the College of Science is central to impactful research in Blacksburg, Roanoke, the Washington metro area, and beyond. An example is Coastal at VT, which brings a wide and deep team of researchers together to address sea level rise, population growth, ocean acidification, and many other problems threatening the coast. 50 faculty from eight colleges across the university are members, many from the College of Science, including co-lead Dr. Robert Weiss from Geosciences. Coastal at VT uses data, analysis, and modeling to help municipal governments, private corporations, and the military make decisions given coastal change. In another example, researchers from our departments of chemistry and physics are laying the groundwork for the future of quantum computing. 
They are developing and testing algorithms that could potentially exploit the capabilities of quantum computing before large-scale machines become available. In the future, quantum computing could simulate molecular properties, which might accelerate the development of new materials or drug discovery. In a final example, Dr. Kaylin Carey of Biological Sciences and her research team have collected data and constructed models to forecast water quality for the Western Virginia Water Authority, which provides drinking water in the Roanoke Valley. Kaylin's model can be used by communities around the world to make decisions and take action. Via our research and outreach, the College of Science impacts the world. I often begin presentations by emphatically stating the power of the College of Science comes from our people. Our informative research about women in powerful government positions or the discovery of a mini T-Rex fossil, our innovative educational programs, our excellent staff support, everything we do and all our success in the college all originates from and relies on our people our faculty, staff, and students. We strengthen the College of Science by investing in our people. Thanks to generous alumni and friends, this semester we awarded 15 faculty honorifics to support and encourage our talented faculty. Elaboration of just one fellowship, the Patricia Caldwell Fellowship awarded to Dr. Xu Hai Zhao will demonstrate the importance of our faculty and our college's work to support them. Xu Hai is a historical geobiologist in the Department of Geosciences. He analyzes geological, fossil, and geochemical data to examine critical periods in Earth's history. Just two weeks ago, Xu Hai and his team announced they had found a 550 million year old fossil that could be among the first trails of an animal moving from one place to another. Coverage of the discovery appeared in the New York Times, the Smithsonian Magazine, and on the BBC and CNN. This discovery helps us understand the world's past, present, and future. And we are delighted to have a faculty fellowship to recognize and support Xu Hai. Xu Hai explained that the fellowship will allow him to expand his research and educational contributions at Virginia Tech. He said, this fellowship will help me to create greater global visibility of Virginia Tech through my teaching and research activities. My enthusiasm for teaching is motivated by the need for a new generation of globally engaged scientists. Xu Hai's words encompass the vision of the College of Science at Virginia Tech to explore, advance, and apply science to promote healthy people, strong communities, and a sustainable planet, and to do so in the spirit of Ut Prosum, our motto. Together, we can achieve this vision in the College of Science at Virginia Tech and inspire a new generation of scientists. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dean Morton. This will conclude the live stream for the State of the College for the College of Science. Please join us for a reception in the lobby to continue the conversation with the Dean and enjoy each other. Thank you. Thank you.